if I want to simplify these two imaginaries by basically, sorry, I'm going to minus these two, okay, and then simplify it out, what we do is you first change a minus into a plus. So this would be negative 14 plus 3i. This means I'm going to take the opposite of negative 3, which becomes a positive 3, and the opposite of 8i, which becomes a negative 8i. Basically, distribute the negative. Then I'm going to combine like terms. So this and this would give you negative 11. And these two will give you negative 5i. When you subtract these two imaginaries, that's your new imaginary. When I want to multiply these two imaginaries, you use FOIL. This times this is equal to 40. That times that is positive 8i. This times this is negative 10i. And that becomes negative 2i squared. Now we've got to simplify it. Combine these. When you combine those, you get negative 2i. That's still 40 in front. This becomes negative 2 times i squared is negative 1. You should always get rid of your i squareds. i squared is negative 1. Negative times a negative is a positive, so that's a 2. 4 plus 2 is 42 minus 2i. When you multiply these two, that is my new imaginary. Number three, when I divide two imaginaries, you're supposed to basically get rid of the i in the denominator. In order to get rid of this, you have to multiply it by the same thing, but change the middle sign. Since it's a minus, you simply make it a plus. But if I multiply the bottom by that, I also have to multiply the top by it. I can't just multiply one piece, so you multiply top and bottom. And now we FOIL the top and FOIL the bottom. When I FOIL the top, I get negative 2 minus 5i plus 6i plus 15i squared. You always have an i squared at the end. And then 2 times 2 is 4 plus 10i minus 10i minus 25i squared. Now if you multiply by the right piece, this is called the conjugate. If you multiply by the right piece, these two should always drop out, leaving you no i's. The i squared, that's negative 1. This one's also negative 1. So basically on top, we're left with a negative 2. These two combine to be a positive i. This becomes 15 times negative 1, which becomes negative 15. 15 times negative 1. On the bottom, you're left with a 4. This becomes negative 25 times negative 1, which, com which becomes positive 25. And then combine these. Looks like we have negative 17 plus i over 29. And I do not like the way this is written. This is not a proper, actually, answer. I'm going to simplify it to be negative 17 over 29 plus 1 over 29i. What it is, I divided both pieces by 29. This is an imaginary number. Negative 17 over 29 plus 1 29i. This is OK, but this is appropriate. So for subtraction, you combine like terms after distributing the negative. For multiplying, you FOIL. For dividing, you multiply top and bottom by the conjugate, then FOIL, and simplify.